All right, guys, here we are. The last time you saw me, I had just pulled this car up here and was packing everything from the car and the truck into the RV. We are leaving on the maiden voyage today. Whether you want to call it the maiden voyage or the shakedown tour, whatever you want to call it, I'm just making a quick walk around the outside here to check everything, make sure everything's good to go, that the jacks are all up and everything. Everything's looking good on this side. Back's looking good. I got the generator on because I have the air on inside. It's in the 90s right now. So I'm actually going to drive with the generator on and the air on so that the whole coach will stay cool. And then I will uh, transfer over to shore power once I get there. This side looks good. Everything's closed and locked up. Everything in the front looks good. I don't see anything that needs any attention on the outside before we go. Let's go on in, make sure everything is secured. The slides are in, everything's good to go. I think I've got everything set up over here. Look at all that stuff. <laughs> all that stuff set up so that nothing's gonna be sliding around. I've actually got three coolers going here. This one's full of drinks. And these two have big bags of ice and my food in them. Uh, everything else back here is packed behind the heavy stuff. I don't think that stuff will slide. If it does, I'll pull over and, and fix it. Slides in back here. Everything else is secure. Man, it is hot. Only thing in there that's not secure is the towel. That's not going to hurt anything. <laughs> I am sweating, guys. It is so hot. And uh, where did I put my towel? Yeah. I got a little towel over here that I've been using to just dry off my head. Once I get started here and I get the air going in the cab here, it'll all tie together and it'll cool down here and I'm just sitting there doing nothing. You know, I've been running around here like a chicken with a head cut off. I got everything I think I might need up here. A couple of CDs, my keys, my sunglasses, hat. I got some Taco Bell hiding there because I haven't eaten anything today. And honestly, last night I realized I didn't eat anything at all yesterday because I was working on this stuff and I was just moving and moving and moving. And uh, come midnight, I realized I hadn't eaten anything and I did not go out to Taco Bell last night. I was so proud and then I went there today. <laughs> so I honestly don't care. Everything that I brought is keto friendly. So I'm going to have four days of keto friendly food after my Taco Bell. I got this awesome GPS here that my kids all got together and uh, their spouses and got me for Christmas. Very expensive GPS, but it's awesome. And I got a couple of drinks over here. I got my towel. I think I'm ready to roll, guys. The emergency brake is on, but I'll turn that off in a second. I just want to make one more look around here, make sure that everything is good and secure, and then we're going to take off. Okay, let's do this. Emergency brake off. Fire it up. Whew. All right. Let's get some AC on here. Holy crap, guys. The maiden voyage. We are actually going on a trip. I can't believe this. <laughs> All right, let's do this. There's always a billion things to check. I just want to make sure everything's cool. All right, let's go. Boats are rocking. <laughs> Goes Kyle and his dad out there. Whew. 
it's funny to go from such a wonderful moment to such a horrible moment. So I pulled a... <laughs> So either laugh or cry, you know? I pulled over here, <laughs> right off the highway, into a Menards parking lot, and uh, and I kept going, there's somebody behind me, and this long stretch of road here, so I kept going, I pulled over into this Nichols Bakery thrift store here, and I, and I parked right here. Uh, just to kind of gather myself and uh, and to make a decision about what to do. And <laughs> oh boy, you know, guys, the whole celebrity thing. I love it for people who recognize me and they get a kick out of seeing me in public. Um, but I forget, you know. I don't like. I don't have a big head about it. I don't think I'm anybody special, so I don't like go shopping or into public thinking, oh, who's going to recognize me today? You know, I just, I don't think about it. And especially in this giant monster here, the license place to say Goliath, you know, people recognize me. Somebody, <laughs> right after I parked, somebody uh, pulled in and around me. And to me, in the mindset of just getting this news and being in this position where I'm about to turn on the highway and take a road trip for four days and, and, and stopping right here dead in my tracks, getting horrible, horrible news like that. And then some people pull around me here and as they're pulling around, <laughs> I look at them like, what are you looking at? You know, I gave them this hand flip, like, get out of my face, keep moving. <laughs> You know, I just thought it was some random person. And as I'm doing that, I see this girl looking out the window. Um, her boyfriend's driving. She's looking up up into here, like, obviously to see if it's me. And <laughs> giant smile on her face. And I just gave her the most evil look ever. So if you are watching this right now, I am so sorry. Uh, I, it's just it's a horrible time for that to have happened. So I'm sorry that I did that. It just it, it's a really horrible time here. Oh. <sighs>